Have you ever been at a party or in a group where there's always someone who has a fun fact ready to go whenever you ask them? I've always been a little jealous of that person, but it can be kind of difficult to retain information and always have something new. But I think I've found a free app that'll help you do just that. What's up guys, this is Max Square, and in this video we're taking a look at an app that will always show you new fun facts in a really simple format. But just before we jump in, I wanna give you a quick update on where the channel's at. I know this is the only video I've uploaded this week. It is finals week for me, so it's been a little crazy. I am barely gonna get this video out in time. Hopefully, if you're seeing this, it's Friday, and it is April, what's the April 27th, and you're watching this video. But after today, I am finished with the spring semester, so I'm gonna be able to have a ton of time to focus on videos and getting out new content. But rather than just putting out more and more videos, I really wanna spend time on getting the quality of the videos even higher. When you get into a routine of uploading one or two videos a week, it can be kinda of easy to let the standards drop and just pick an idea and run with it, but I really wanna get a video that's gonna help everyone on this channel. But without further ado, let's jump into the app. So this app is called Curiosity, and the reason I found it is because I was actually playing HQ Trivia. <laughs> And I thought it'd be really cool to just know some of these facts, not just so that I could win, but also just to have those facts ready to go and just be more educated. So I typed in history into the app store and one of the first results was curiosity. So I downloaded it and I've really enjoyed using it since. So for example, one of today's is talking about the galaxy. You can tap on that and read through the article. It shows you the category. You can tap on that category and go to more articles similar to that if you're interested. But what I really like about this app is that the articles aren't super long. Even something talking about astronomy and technology, you might think would be pretty in-depth and complex to understand, but the article isn't super long. It's just a couple paragraphs and it's not too science-y as articles like this would go. So it's pretty easy to understand and retain the information, which is the whole reason you're using the app. And then once you're done with that article, you can scroll down, you can read through that one, read through the next, but after about five articles, it goes to the day before. So there's only a couple articles each day and a couple new facts to learn, which is really nice because you can keep scrolling back through previous days if you didn't find an article you liked or thought was interesting. But if you just wanna get up to date with the new facts of the day, you only have a couple articles to read and it's not tons of content. Now there is a discover page where you can go through individual categories as well. As I mentioned, each article has its own category. So if you like that article, wanna find more related articles, you can click on that and go from there. You can save articles to read them back later on. And that's pretty much the entire app. As far as settings go, you do have a dark mode that you can enable at all times, but there's also a fast scroll option. So you'll notice if I keep it off for a minute, we go back to the articles and I scroll through, it kind of snaps to the next article, but if you enable that option, it just kind of has a continuous scrolling that you're probably more used to from other apps. Now you can also tap on the date at the top left and pick a specific date that you're looking for. So maybe if you wanna go back a few days, months, or even a year, you could select a specific date, might take a little minute to load, but then it'll load all the articles that it had published for that day. Now you will notice that there are some ads spread out throughout the app, and unfortunately you can't get rid of these. And the reason for this is because the app is free, they have to make some money, and they're partnering with the authors and publishers that are providing the content. So they kind of have to make it a sustainable platform for everyone involved. But it's not too bad. I would of course prefer maybe a 99 cent or $2 option to remove those ads. I think it'd be worth it in that case. But other than that, the app is pretty fun and easy to use. Now at this point you may be wondering, does this actually work? Can you actually retain the information? And when I first opened up the app, I was a little skeptical because I've used other articles and other blog apps like this before to try and learn fun facts and stuff, and it hasn't really worked. But almost every single one I read that day was really interesting and it had some sort of practical application or fact that everyone would find interesting. And maybe it was just the fact that I was reading these all right before I went to sleep, so that may have helped me remember them better. But I was talking to someone the next day, and I was able to bring up the fact that NASA is working on a new project called Hammer that is potentially going to be able to destroy any asteroids that might destroy Earth or life itself. <laughs> and later that night, I was in a conversation, and I was able to bring up the fact and reasoning behind why you can't remember someone's name when you meet them. So the categories really range from science to technology to psychology, all those kind of things. 
And I think the main reason I was able to retain it is because the information was really concise. It didn't run on with extra facts that no one was going to remember, but I was really able to get the gist of it. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to check out this app. I'll put a link down in the description. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.